Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Ship. And in this episode of Let's Talk Ship, we're going to be talking lots of ship about Avalon Panorama. Panorama. <laughs> our first ever river cruise as well which is really exciting for us but before we get into this video we're just going to stop you one second gav if you're new here please 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 subscribe to our channel because it helps us out loads we really appreciate it and if you like this video give it a little like too because that gives us a big boost as well yeah it really helps other people <laughs> it, it, discover it, it, our videos we love it we love it so thank you for that anyway moving on so it was our first ever river cruise as we said yes We've never ever been on a river cruise before so um, Avalon Waterways invited us on the river cruise. They reached out to us um, and offers, offered us a cruise on um, a number of their ships over a number of days. And we chose a seven night romantic Rhine cruise. Yes. And one of the big picks about this was we actually got to fly from Cardiff, mm, yeah. which if you live in our neck of the woods, you know how far an airport is away from us. So it was a novelty to be able to go from Cardiff. So we were buzzing about that. So anyway, where did we go on this romantic Rhine cruise? To start off... We had an overnight stay in Amsterdam, <laughs> yes, which was fantastic. We've been there before years ago, but we really enjoy Amsterdam. It's got a lot of buzz, a lot of atmosphere, but we loved it. Yeah, so the fir first day, we were free to explore on our own. Yeah. The second day, we had a canal boat tour for about an hour and a half. Yeah. And the morning, free to explore um, Amsterdam. And then the second day, we went to Cologne. Cologne. If I got that right. <laughs> yeah. We did have a nice, we had a bit of a lie-in, because we had like a, a, it was an afternoon and morning sort of sail, wasn't it? Yes. And then we got to Cologne. And that was great. We got there. We were pretty central. We were like right in the middle, weren't we? Yeah, we had a nice little walking tour in Cologne, didn't yeah, we? Which was great. And we saw a really cool cathedral. We saw the Bridge of the Love Locks yep. on, which was awesome. And then after that, we went to Rudersheim. Rudersheim. Which oh. was, I think, one of my favourite ports. Yes, it was quite an active day, that one. It was a very pretty place. And yeah, we, we basically hiked. We hiked all the way through these vineyard, this yep. vineyard to the top of this huge monument. It was really pretty statue. It was great. Then we hiked all the way back down because there was an issue with the card machine. Yep. We yeah, were going to it. But we had, we had like a really nice coffee, didn't yeah, we? A liqueur coffee. Rude shine coffee, which is like an Irish coffee. You know, it's like a, a, an alcohol-based yep. coffee, which is very, very nice. And then we managed to get money out of the ATM. And yep. then we did the cable car, which was epic. We went up and, up down. and down. We did a return trip then. <laughs> so it worked out good. We were happy. We were happy. That was all good. Uh, we did that. And then after that, we went to Mines the following day. Yes. Now, Mines, it was a kind of a tactical kind of because I th I mean, well I, I know we didn't do anything there we basically just got our bus from Maine or Mainz to uh, Heidelsberg because we went to Heid Heidelsberg Castle yep. which was great but then the ship while we were doing this excursion moved and met us they, well, not there, but near enough. Yeah. It was closer so, to, saved us a, a long transfer period, which was absolutely great and a novelty because we're not used to ocean cruise no. ships doing that, are we? So the ones that chose to stay on the ship would have had a half-day excursion and would have come Sailed. down. Whereas we had a full-day excursion. Yeah, it was, it was great, absolutely great. So after the mines, mines and, and the Heidelsberg... We went to, I'm going to look at my notes. Um, after that, we went to Strasbourg. Oh, yeah, and we actually cycled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we cycled. That was an interesting uh, experience. Um, I haven't been on a bike in years, and I went on a bike for the first time, and I certainly am not the sort of person that would even dream of driving a bike or cycling on a road, on a main road, in this country, let alone in France. So the cars were all again. <laughs> yeah, I just followed our active host, and I yep. just didn't get set my eyes off him, and I just kept going. I just, yep. Yeah, I was closing my eyes like this. So we had an active run adventure host um, who would do your hiking, your That's cycling it. tours, and all that kind of stuff. That was brilliant. Yeah. Um, and after Strasbourg, we had another port, which was... How are we going to pronounce this? Bre 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 I can't. Something like that, anyway. Anyway, this was more, uh, more normal. Yes. We went to wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd say, I was going to say we went to a vineyard. We did, well, we did go to a vineyard. We went wine tasting. Oh, yes. And it was lovely. We Yeah, we had a nice tour around all this, this massive, like, factory with these yep. big, you're not a factory, it was a... So we saw where the wine was kind of, yeah. where the grapes were delivered, where they were pressed. But the, whole, the, the, whole process, process. the whole process of it. We actually got to tour through it all and it was great. And then we got to taste loads of We got wines. to taste wines as we, we came even, through. We even bought some wine, which was great yep. to take home with us. And it did actually make it home. We didn't drink it on the way. Um, yeah, it was it was a lovely day. It was yep. scorching. We can't, that's one thing we've got to say about the weather on this. It was oh, really, really hot. I mean, we've never done a Ryan cruise before, certainly not in October. 
But a lot of people that, that were on the ship or had done it numerous times were saying they were having like an Indian summer and it was a heat wave and we were really, really jammy. So, yeah, that way. Unfortunately, that was our last real port of call yeah. because then overnight or uh, late that evening, we arrived in Basel. Yeah, where which unfortunately is... we had to then get off. Yes, but, unfortunately. You know, all good things must come but to an end. there were some cracking ports. We really enjoyed yeah, them, we, didn't we? We loved the itinerary. Um, we really loved the ship. It was very, very small. Yes. Very... Compared to an ocean ship, it was great. We 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 loved the facilities on board. It was a pretty little ship. We it were was. It. So we were very pleased with our itinerary. So River Cruising gets a thumbs up from us. So we've told you all about where we've been. So let's tell you all about Avalon Panorama. So I dip my toes into how great the ship was. Yeah, Avalon Panorama is an absolutely beautiful little ship. Uh, when I say little, it's surprisingly big. I was surprised how big the ship was. Yep. Given that it's going down rivers, I was, I was quite impressed with it. Um, anyway, Avalon Panorama entered service in 2011, and she's the first suite-class ship yep. with Avalon. Um, she's 135 metres long. And she's, that's, that's quite big for a river. Well, yeah, this is what got me. It was <laughs> half, the, half the length of RMS Titanic. <laughs> half the length of Titanic. Yes, you've heard that right, and I've looked it up. 135 metres long yeah and there's four decks on they they it's on the plans they look like four but they're sort of yeah they kind of staggered. stagger them don't they but you know it's all very easy to access there is a lift um it, the lift doesn't go all the way up to the the sky deck by no. the way but for the most part it's easily accessible yeah. the stairs aren't major it's the, the reason the lift scary. wouldn't go up to the sky deck by the way is because they go under some very yeah, very they can't have a shaft and all it goes up there low but, bridges um, yeah it's very easy to navigate yeah. is the point we're getting across it's a nice nice size ship for so, us it was a novelty so in total it has 83 staterooms or mm. cabins whatever you want to call them um 168 passengers at full capacity um there's three grades of cabin you've got your deluxe suite suite which is um, below the waterline, basically. Yes, yeah, it's like on the the windows are on line with the waterline, which is yep. quite quirky. Yep. So yeah, we did get to go and see one of those. We were we were lucky enough to be shown around yep. by um, Mihai, yep. our uh, the cruise, cruise director. director. He showed us one of those rooms because we asked. Unfortunately, we couldn't see one of the what do you call them? The, the roller suites. suites. There's only two of them on board. And they were booked on our cruise. And then last but not least is our grade of room, which is the panorama yes. suite. Now this is a nice, nice room, but we will go into that in more that. detail later on. It basically has nice floor to ceiling glass door, sliding door windows, and it's a lovely room in it. It's nice. One of the things we loved about river cruising was the amount of things included. Yes. So the excursions we were telling you about earlier were all included. Yeah. Um, and there were one or two that you could pay for. Yeah. But all the ones we done were complimentary. Yeah. You didn't need and to. They were fantastic. We re we think it was really great value for money. Exactly. When you consider how much you know these cruises. You can get them for a reasonably yeah. reasonable price. Well, the, the drinks are also included with your meals. Yes. So at lunch, you can have local wines and beers, and the same goes for dinner as well. And they're not shy. I will say that they're not shy. If your glass even gets anywhere near empty, they will top you up. Yep. I even went in one day <laughs> when I was hungover and I didn't want to have a drink with my lunch. And they asked me so many times. When they forced <laughs> me. They forced me I'm, to I'm drink sure they didn't beer. force you. And I, it started me off on a whole other day. So if, if you didn't want to drink beer or wine, um, there's uh, soft drinks available as well. Um, there's also tea, coffee and hot chocolate kind of machines around the ship that were open 24, yeah. for 24 hours a day. And one of the other great things about Avalon as well is that Wi-Fi is included on board. Yes. So that's really, really good. So yeah, um, everybody gets free Wi-Fi. Um, and they've also got handy little, um, they call them whispers. And they're basically the headphones that you take around with you on excursions. Yeah. But they've also got a 3G SIM card in them. So they also act as a wireless hotspot. So when you're off the ship, if you haven't got... Um, so say like phone, you've got a long transfer. Yeah. You know... You could you could use these you could connect your little whisper and you'd have internet because wherever you were because I'm one of these people I very often spend the whole of my cruise in aeroplane mode so I don't incur any additional charges <laughs> roaming. But yeah, you, you know you had internet when you were out yeah. about. Avalon Panorama was a lovely, lovely ship. Had a lot of surprise in, you know, I was surprised by how many facilities were on board given the yep. size of it. It was, you know, we had like a whirlpool spot at the top. We had a really spacious sky deck. There was chess up there. There was, there was loads there of things nice, in that sky Nice little lounge area at the front. We had the main panorama lounge. We had this nice little lounge area at the front, which was great. You could see, oh, it was fantastic. And then the back, it was a bit noisy and a bit 
um, fumey from yep. the engine, but that's where the smokers go. But that was nice just to see the wake and everything. And we went there a few times when we were sailing down things like locks, <laughs> which is a novelty for us. What did we think of that? Low as bridges and locks. We low bridges and locks. It was loads and loads of fun for an ocean cruiser to do a river cruise and experience that. It was so yeah. much fun. We we loved it. But but overall, we, we really enjoyed that we loved ship. The ship. It was really, like I said, it was really pretty. Nice little atrium area, nice little skylight. It was absolutely phenomenal. I was really impressed with it when we... We were. So Avalon Panorama gets a big thumbs up from us too. <laughs> Now we're going to talk about the embarkation process and how straightforward that was because it was fantastic. It was. So included in our cruise was our flight from Cardiff Airport. Yeah. So we flew into Amsterdam, yeah. we picked up our luggage and our um, paperwork said meet at the meeting point. So in Amsterdam Airport there is a big it's sign big, that says yeah. meeting point. And underneath there, there was an Avalon Waterways representative waiting for us. With a little clipboard with our names yep. on it. So she checked us off and then she said, be with us a couple of minutes, whatever. Well, we may wait for a couple more people to join yep. the group because they, they were expecting a few in. Um, and then we, our bus was outside. So we literally yep. just went straight out to our bus. We got on. We were whisked away <laughs> straight, straight to our ship. Yes, so we arrived on the ship as yes. guests were leaving. So we were quite early. Yeah, And then when the bus pulled up, and the side panel opened. We didn't even take our cases. The staff, oh, yeah. them, they took our cases, all like... of us, and they, they took them all on, to, on board the ship, mm -hmm. which was lovely. We went on board, and our rooms weren't quite ready at the no. time, because obviously we were quite early, but we, we were able to sit in the lounge, we were able to enjoy some like drinks. Yeah, like we, we, I think I think we'd like a cup of coffee or something. Didn't yeah, we? and it, it was it wasn't too long before the rooms were ready. I mean, yeah. we went off and we took some like pictures of the ship and did little bits for our videos. I, I think it was about half an hour after arriving. Yeah. And we were sat there. We were talking to one of the members of staff. And over the um, but it was PA only, system, it was, we it were called was, to our room. Yeah, it was only about 30 minutes or so. Yep. And we were in our, we were called to our rooms, which was, which to be fair, that's quite efficient. You know, it's nothing like an ocean cruise. No. There was no, I mean, we did have health declarations prior to boarding the ship, but nothing, no, no long queues. It no. was fantastic. The longest queues was probably getting on and off the bloody plane. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> but um, when we were sat in the lounge, we were basically called by name to a reception desk. You went there, you were given the card. Um, and then a porter took you to your yeah. room, um, showed you around the room, and that it was yeah. so simple. So um, embarkation gets a big thumbs up from sure us. That's great. So now we've embarked this wonderful ship, and we've been called to our lovely room. We're now going to tell you all about it. So we had a panorama suite. Now we had a panorama suite. It was room number two one two one seven, yeah, which was on the starboard side, sort of midship. That's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> it was a lovely, lovely room. It actually surprised us how big the room was. We, given that we were on this river ship, which is considerably smaller than a cruise ship, we were surprised by the size of the room. Very surprised. Yeah. Especially the bathroom area or shower room area. It was lovely. It was so lovely and light as well. You walked it? in basically and you had this floor to ceiling, wall to wall, basically slide in door. Yeah. Um, there isn't necessarily a veranda or anything. It is the room itself. So basically the door goes right up to a railing. It slides open and it just becomes indoors, outdoors, yep. becomes an extension it's, of it's each other. It's really, really beautiful. Actually, really, when really you're nice. sailing along the rivers and, and it's open. And the, one of the great things about it as well was obviously the bed was pointed towards this. So you could be laying in bed and you would wake up in the morning and you just see it all sailing past. Yeah, and that was really, yes. and it's so peaceful, you see the water like trickling past. This is very, very relaxing. Um, and it was, we were just kind of above the waterline, weren't we? Yeah, it was quite nice. Yeah. Um, and then in addition to that, obviously we have our lovely, lovely shower room, which did surprise me. It was like all marble tiled, yeah. big, massive mirror, vanity mirror came out. The shower was a lovely, lovely size. It was really, and then, and then as well, they also had like a nice reed diffuser. Oh, the, the reed smelled diffuser smelled gorgeous. Really, and the really other thing good. was the toiletries they had yeah. smelled really nice as well. Really, really, really good, fragrant. high quality ones. Yeah. Um, so we, we we have no complaints to our room whatsoever. No. We found it really practical, plenty of storage. It had loads of facilities. We will have a more in-depth video of this, which we will yep. show you. Um, but yeah, we're very, very impressed with the cabin. So that gets a massive thumbs up from us. <laughs> So one of the most important things on the cruise is the food. Food, glorious food. And there was loads of food, to be fair. It was very, yeah. very tasty and we couldn't complain about any of it really. It, it was, was delicious. Really, really good quality food as well. Yeah. So basically we're going to start off with the, the there's three venues on the ship yes. that, that have 
some sort of food or offering of food. <laughs> so we're going to start with the main, most important one, and that is the panorama dining room. Yes, this is your main dining room. Basically. So this this dining room is really, really beautifully decorated. Plenty of seating in there. Um, it's, it's a nice little dining room. Yep, like it's basically down two sides, Sort isn't of it? near enough water level. So you've got nice views outside, nice big windows on the side of you. It's yep. absolutely it's lovely. So anyway, basically at this dining room, you get your self serve. Yep, so this is breakfast. It's breakfast served there every day. But you can order like your eggs benedict. Yeah, I had egg. eggs benedict one day, it was beautiful. Yeah, wish they obviously make that all fresh for you. Then they have lunch. You've got yeah, a buffet lunch as well. Which is the same. And they also have like uh, someone carving meats or mm -hmm. like serving you meats there. That's great. Just couldn't fault it. The food really was, really, really was delicious. And then every evening you've got a full on menu for your main yeah, which evening was like, meal. God, no, how many courses was it? Like five it courses? About, yeah, four, five. You have like, like, one, you know, one of the nights was definitely five. Yeah, yeah and the, the balsamic vinegar with the oh, olive the bread. Was absolutely delicious. I'm not normally one to go for that, but it was so, so nice. And I, so you had like your bread course, this is what I was going with. Yes. Your starter, then your jug, soup. soup. Then your main, then your main, and then your um, sweet or but cheese. But we were having cheese as well, and then we'd have like a little, like a little drink of wine or. I had a brandy from what yeah. I remember, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah so the, the food in the main dining room was was fabulous, to be honest. And then moving on, the next venue where you can get food is up at the Panorama Lounge, Lounge, which is a bit of a is a multi-purpose room to be honest. Yep. It does it caters for everything. Like so this is your bar, your entertainment. entertainment lounge yes it's a bit of everything and on the forward part of it then you've got this small little setup yeah. where they'll serve um a lunch, lunch a afternoon tea which yeah. is quite nice which is quite nice yeah mm. it's very very good and um the evening meal or they call it the bistro they there at night bistro, basically when I, if if you don't want to go down to the main dining room you can have like this this bistro yes. thing which... but the food you'd get um for dinner and lunch is the same food that's downstairs in Pretty the main much. dining room, but it's Pretty smaller much, selection. Yeah, a lot more compacted, more yes. condensed. And then if you're peckish throughout the day or evening, you could go to the club lounge, which is all at the back of the ship. Yes. It's a nice little glass um lounge area with those little plants and stuff and it's pretty um but you, they do these little snacks so there's you donuts like, it's, but unfortunately they're always sweet though i will yeah. say that but they had some delicious waffle things in there oh yeah you've you got the waffles some, donuts with cookies there's loads of tasty there's stuff and there's turnovers there's quite a good coffee selection there's a good coffee machine there yeah it's great and there's a, a wide variety of teas it was, it was very very good and even different flavors of water as well that basically that is the dining it's, yes that's, that's, that covers everything but we can't fault anything about no. the food so well, one thing with um river cruise ships is because there's less passengers on them there's less dining venues there's less dining choice obviously to reduce waste but you'll always find something well we always find yeah, something we, we enjoy something because yeah, they have things like even if you don't fancy anything off the main menu there's always something like an always available um, yes. selection as well so i had like salmon one night sometimes i fancy more than one thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, we can't fault the food. The food is really, really good. Really impressive. So I get a thumbs up from us. <laughs> Now, after you've had all of your lovely food, you're going to want some entertainment. You're going to chill out. You're going to relax, have a drink. And so I think we should lead on to the bars and entertainment. Okay, let's so, do it. What so, bars and entertainment do they have, Gav? The, the bars is quite easy because this is just your panorama lounge. That's it. There's only one That's bar. all you've got. One bar. But it, it's great. And the staff are so friendly. We love the staff there. Yeah, we? we've got to know. That's one of the perks as well about the smaller ship. Is that it's a very intimate yes. thing. And, and everyone knows everybody within a couple of yeah. days. It's great. So every evening you have your port talk, which um, the cruise director will tell you what uh, was happening next. You're forgetting the most important What's that? Thing. Happy hour. <gasps> oh, so yes. basically what would happen <laughs> is between roughly, that it does sort of change depending on itineraries and things. Um, between about quarter to six to quarter to seven, you have a happy hour. Yes. So your drinks are about the half price. All drinks are half price. A happy hour at half price. It's great. That's so you sit, you you have your your happy hour, and then, then you have your fifteen minute port talk, which is all about um, the following day. Um, what you know, what time the what time the excursions leave. Just um, the logistics you need of the to be, following day, yeah. basically, and any information you might need, and it's usually usually done by your cruise director. Yes, it's, it's done by the cruise director who's on board. Um, and any questions you've got, you can then go and see the cruise director straight afterwards. And then following that, they basically, you go straight down to your dinner. Yes. But, but afterwards, sometimes they do some live yes. entertainment there as well. So um, what they what Avalon do is they bring on live entertainment. Yeah. So we had, um, in Cologne, we had a live band. 
who got a lot of people up dancing. The dance yes, floor was quite that, full that yes, night. Yes, I remember. Even, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, that, that was, was good, good one. We were bopping away, not dancing. We were sitting on the table, <laughs> bopping away, like, bop, bop. But yeah, we had fun. Uh, um, Rudersheim, Rudersheim um, they had a classical recital. We didn't actually see that one. No, because we thought, because the ship was sort of staying in until four in the morning. Yes. We thought, oh, we'll go around the bars in Rudersheim. Let's have a, let's have a bit of an explore. But it was dead. I don't know if it's because it was the end of the season, but it was going to So what happened was they had this band on that was doing whatever they were doing, which probably great. It was it was um it was classical music, yeah. And then we went off and had our little explore, but nothing was open. So we came out to the ship. By that point, the band was finished. Yeah, and I remember finished. still on the top deck. We watched them pack up their cars. Like damn, if we'd have known, we would have stayed on the ship. We'd at least have had some form of entertainment. Yeah, but no, never mind. Never mind. It's, it's no one's fault. It's our yeah. yeah. And then uh, when we were in Strasbourg, after doing our cycle, we came back on board and had some lunch. And to our surprise, yeah. there was an accordion player. <laughs> and he, at first he was playing in the lobby when we went in. And then, because everyone was coming on, going down to have lunch, and then straight after going on an excursion, he came down. And so he's playing his music in yep. the main dining room. It was lovely. It was so, so he good. Just, he kind of kept going in between there and, and the lounge above, mm. didn't he? And then other than that, then, you have got some, like, board games. Yep. Uh, there is a, a large TV in the club lounge at the back, which I mentioned before. There's loads of board and games in there. I think there was one night where the ship was sailing, like overnight type of thing, so we weren't at any sort of port, so there was no live entertainment. So they did put on like a movie night, didn't they? Yeah, they put Mamma Mia on, I think. Something. Yeah, I, I did, we didn't see it. We were too busy drinking at the lounge. We, we stayed in the lounge. Yeah, but um, it was available, so that's, that's the end. <laughs> Now we're going to be talking about the fitness and well-being aspect of Avalon Panorama. So after all that food and all that drink, you'd be wondering, is there a gym on a river cruise ship? And there is. You'd be, yeah, it's, it, 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 there is. It's a small, so compa we, yeah. compact little mini gym, but it covers the basics. There's like two treadmills down there, some exercise bikes, some weights. It's a great little room, covers the basics. It's got everything you need to be it, ser fit. it serves as purpose. It helps you burn off all those extra calories yep. that may have crept on board. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got rid of, if we've been off the stowaways, after we've been off those, you might want to relax. So looking at this from a well-being kind of perspective, you'd be pleased to know there is, isn't necessarily a spa, but there is like a whirlpool spa up on yep. the sky deck right at the top of the ship. So it's well, great. We enjoyed spending time yeah, in there. And it, was, and it was hot as well. It was nice yeah. and warm. It was a decent temperature. So we actually managed to use it like a few times. Yeah, just a little, you know, and it's, and it's bubbles on and you can see the scenery sailing past and it's lovely. So, yeah, other than that, I mean, there, there was a hair salon as well. Yes. We didn't use it or see it really. It's, it's tucked in just by the club lounge, but we, we didn't even, to be honest, I didn't really realise it was there. <laughs> For but those... but it's, it's there if you want it. Yes. For those that want to get up early, there is a daily yoga session. Yes. Um, which the adventure host um, does for you. Um, and talking adventure host, um, that's, I suppose we can class that as well. We can class this as we? fitness because they offer like active excursions. Yes. So there's things like hiking and and, and cycling. Yeah, as, as we mentioned earlier, we went hiking and we cycling. We went hiking, hiking, hiking. We went hiking twice and we went cycling once. Yes, it was Actually great fun. Cycling. And it was loads and loads of fun. We had an absolute blast. I mean, I didn't think I'd ever go on a bike. If you just said that to me before the cruise, I'd go, nah, not a hope in hell. Are you going to go off on a hike? And then, nah, I'm just going to sit down and drink wine and eat. But no, I, I'm glad I did it though. Yes. I, I did so it. So I. I. I come back and I, it's, it's changed my whole perspective on it. And <laughs> I would definitely do it again. Definitely. If you want to stay fit and healthy um, and active yeah. on, on a river cruise, it's definitely possible. And there are food options as well. Go, I know we, we spoke about food, but the food is mostly healthy. There's a yep. lot of healthy choice. On, there there is healthy Panorama. choices on the menu. Yeah, if you want a guilt-free <laughs> cruise, Avalon It is possible to do it. Yeah, Avalon's definitely the cruise ship for you. It's lovely. So I, I think health and fitness and well-being does get a, yeah, it does. a thumbs up from really me. area there was yep. on Avalon Panorama and how, how big it was. <laughs> yeah, we were saying the ship was 135 metres long and to look at one of those ships you think, oh yeah, they are kind of long, but to actually be on it, to see it with your own eyes, it's very impressive. Yeah, and there's, there's plenty of space for everybody basically. If it was a hot sunny day, you'd, you'd have no problems finding a sea So I'll start off with my favourite spot and just, so basically just outside the Panorama Lounge, there's like an outdoor seating area um that was lovely it was pretty yeah. much right at the at the bow of the ship so you got some to see some spectacular scenery it was great 
you know, if we're just having a beer or whatever and having some afternoon tea yes. as we wait and the sun, exactly. oh, it was lovely. And anyway, moving on from that, then you can go up, up the stairs from there and you have the, the sky deck. Yep, that's where the sky deck begins then. And you've got, that's the whole top deck. Yeah. So it, it's just, a, yeah, it's sort of staged again, slightly stepped. Um, so basically the first part, you've got like a lounging area. Then you have like the wheelhouse. Um Yep. Which which moves up and down. But then there's also Is that a covered area there's then? Another covered area, which looks like I think it didn't not on our cruise it didn't happen, but I think maybe they might serve food or yeah, drinks. I, there I, or I'd imagine up there. there was some sort of counter behind the wheelhouse and I, the way it's set up, I would say they definitely either do like maybe don't you maybe comment below if you know, let us know. Um they do like barbecues or something, yeah, maybe, I, I, or I'd some imagine sort of buffet lunches. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But they, there was that nice area. Then obviously you had your whirlpool when you got the steps, you got the whirlpool yep. area. Um and then you have this just enormous deck where you've got like plenty of loungers. They've got these nice tables and chairs over them. So if you want shade, that's available. Plenty of seating, tables and chairs. Yep. There's also you've, chess. You've got chess and drafts. And drafts, which you I think use. it's drafts anyway. Yeah, um, and then basically just at the, the, the aft of the ship, you just toddle down these little steps and you're basically outside the... the club lounge. What you call the club lounge, just straight down. Yeah. Um, and you, you've basically got this, it's the smoking area and it is quite strong with fumes and noise yes. and vibration from the engine. But... It's nice to just, you know, sit there for like a bit of scenery, like if like we were doing a few time lapses mm -hmm. from there, so it was, it was a good vantage point, and it was great for watching the um, when we were sailing through the locks. Yeah, so that was great. Another, but I wouldn't say that was my favourite area by any means. I wouldn't want to spend any prolonged length of time and, there. And it wasn't it wasn't the fumes from smokers because, um, to be honest, every time we no, went, we never saw anybody, there. Saw anybody there smoking. It was, it was. I think it's because it's all blasting out yeah. the engine when the ship go. When those ships go, oh, fair play. That's one thing. They I do. They, they do move. move. They move. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that basically covers. Yeah, you yeah. also got those little areas. You love them on the in the in the middle. Oh yeah, just outside like the lobby. There's these yeah. nice. I call them like mini prom decks. So um, they but, could go up as well to the yeah. They, they lead up deck. to the sky deck as well. Um, and it's also worth noting, which I found really really cool, is that the wheelhouse. Obviously, with these these river cruise ships, they go under low bridges, which you mentioned before. And at certain times, those decks actually close because it's they go too low. On in those instances. The top canopies and all fold down. Yep. The wheelhouse actually goes down, and the mast at the front the goes radar. down. The radar, <laughs> or whatever, it goes down, and the ship sort of squashes <laughs> underneath. It's so cool. Like, it sort we... of stuck in my hair, and it was just going over. And I was like, "Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's close. That's close." Yeah. But it was really, really cool to see. So yeah, yeah that that covers and all concludes Avalon Panorama's open deck areas. <laughs> Now we've told you all about Avalon Panorama, we're now going to give you our final thoughts. So what did we think of our very first ever river cruise, Gab? What did we think of Avalon and Avalon Panorama well, in general? It blew me away. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, that's, it was, all I, that's all I can say. I loved it. It was amazing. It was a pleasant change. It was different to ocean cruising, but it was a nice, nice change. Yes. I would definitely, definitely do it again. So some of the standouts, um, being a the smaller staff. ship... Uh, yeah, the staff. So the smaller ship meant the staff really got to know you. Yeah. You could you could get to know them. You could have a great laugh with them, and they couldn't do enough for yeah. you. And they were so attentive. I mean, we said it earlier on. They do have multiple jobs, a lot of them, but that didn't that didn't stop the yeah. level of service or anything. They were still. They were honestly the staff were fantastic. They were so so great. Yeah, and like you think of the main dining room. They yeah. they suggest the wines to go with their food and things or, like that. Or maybe have an extra large portion of duck because yep. I didn't think that would be enough for you. So that's going back to the let's, an let's, <laughs> let, let, let's go to the food then. What did you think of the food? The food was lovely. The only the only criticism I have with the food, now the food was really, really good, not faulty, but this one night they came out, they decorated I mean, honestly the, the food, the, the presentation very good. It, you can't it's lovely, honestly. It looks like an art, a piece of artwork. It just looks phenomenal. <laughs> but this one or two dishes that came out, decorations reminded me of the things they put in Menju Rhinos. It was a bit bright, it was wasn't so it? Because it was so blue. I think if it had just been the, the natural colour, if it hadn't been dyed or whatever they'd done to it to make it arty, I think it would have been fine. But because it was blue and the shape of it, I was like, oh my God, that looks like one of those things out of, a man's, out of the men's you rhino. And I, yeah, <laughs> that's the only, that's literally the only thing. And uh, Oh, and I will say this, the club lounge at the back, as we said before, it serves food 
there's always cookies or cakes. It's sweet it is, snacks. But it's sweet snacks. It would be nice to have had a savoury option as yep. well as just sweet treats. Definitely. But yeah, that couldn't fault couldn't fault food, service, all the staff. Absolutely phenomenal. So one other good thing about Avalon Panorama was the technology on board. Um, the app they had, the wi you know, free Wi-Fi. You had the app, which had all your daily programmes and stuff. And it always worked. Yeah. Um, you could use it in a map as well. So I, re could... I regret not downloading it myself. I didn't do it. <laughs> Gavin did it. And then we were getting on the ship. He said, oh, have you got the app? Yeah, I was like, what app? I, I, I was so busy with other things before boarding. I just completely forgot. And I wish I had got the app. But, you know, you had your daily programme in there. And when you're in, like, a port, you could say you wanted to go to a place of interest. And it would, it would give you directions on how to get there, like like a map, basically. Yeah. And uh, tell you, go left, go right. Um, and because our flights were booked through it as well, um, it also gave us all the flight information as it was becoming available to so what gate to go to and all that great yeah. stuff. It was so I, I found the tech quite nice. And you like yeah, and you like the little whispers as well. You oh yeah, they were really really good. They were quite quirky. The fact that you could get your internet off that device, that was was brilliant. Yeah, that, they, that, that was really good. Yeah, I think um, yeah, every river cruise has those um, year whispers, things. Yeah. Um, but the fact that they had these Wi-Fi in them. If you don't want to pay two pounds a day, or you know, if you're from the US, it might be even more than that. It might be ten dollars a day. Yeah. You save it because you've got the Wi-Fi and that whisper. Yeah. So, how does river cruising compare to ocean cruising? There's some big differences, I think, Huge differences, isn't there? and a lot of lot of bonuses yep. by going on a river cruise. First of all, it's embarkation uh, and disembarkation of the ship in general. It's a lot quicker, yep. a hell of a lot quicker. You haven't got lengthy queues. You haven't got to go through the security no. process. You know, when you reboard a cruise ship, you have to go through security, have your bag, launch out. There's none of that. You just get on, get off, get on. It's so easy. Yep. Really, and and even when you're on excursions, it's really quick it's to get really, on the bus and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the excursions are really, really organised because I think the ship only holds about four maximum maybe four, yeah, four buses. five buses and, and four buses i'd be yeah they give you a little blob out of a basket of receptions different colors yep. for every excursion or bus you just pick up your dot you know where to go so straightforward yeah it's absolutely brilliant so i'd say that that's that's one, one plus the other thing like you said then you know where to go the same thing on the ship because it's such yeah. a small ship it's so easy, easy to get around us yeah everything is is so close it's yep. brilliant it's, um, well one thing i did find annoying Every morning, I had to go and get Luke's coffee. Yes. <laughs> because they didn't have tea and coffee making facilities in the room. And you might be thinking, well, wait there, the ship's so small. Why are they whinging about that? But you know when you wake up in bed, you hey, think, I don't want to have to do my hair. I don't have to get dressed and dress. You just want to flick the kettle on, have a coffee. As we said, sit there with that nice glass door or window in front of you. And just take in the scenery and just wake up, come to your senses before leaving the room. So that was only negative. If we were more organised, we could have ordered room seats or something. Ordered, yeah, One of the other so. big differences is entertainment. Um, obviously, yeah. being a smaller ship, it hasn't got all the entertainment venues that you'd get on the cruise no. ship. Um, but then not, you're not that we expected there to no, be loads. Of course, it could did. be slightly more, just ever so slightly yeah. more, like little things like maybe a pianist playing or maybe a violinist those resident possibly yes. to the ship as opposed to having to wait for people to come on at each port and then when it's not available saying oh we're just going to throw Mamma Mia or whatever on in the, in the yeah. thing be nice if something was going on in the lounge some sort of music it doesn't have to be any or even a, like a couple of quizzes or but something. What, what we did find is that a lot of people because they've been out all day exploring they'd have their dinner and to be fair a lot of them would go to bed yeah um, but, you know, everybody's different. Um, we'd have liked to have a, a few relaxing drinks after dinner yeah. with a bit of live music. But, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the end of the world. But that is one difference you will find. If you like your big um, shows, you know, your big production shows, you will not get that. Would you go again? I would. That's a good question. Uh, how many times did I look on the Avalon website when I was on my cruise for something else? So somebody it's asked always, us... It was always on my browser. <laughs> somebody asked us, would you book another cruise again? Um, and I'd, say, I'd be lying if I said we hadn't looked a few yeah, times. Admittedly, at the beginning, it took my it was it took me a while to get my head around a few things because obviously it's slightly different. Right. You know, what I mean, on a cruise ship, you've got a lot lot more food yeah. and choice. Um, it's well, you know, you've got and you've less got bars passages. bars open to like five in the morning and yeah. stuff on a, on a conventional cruise ship. As a river cruise ship, like you said, it does shut down. People do go to bed and they go to bed early, but there's a reason because they wake up early yeah. and then they go off and they do things active and they don't stop walking <laughs> and they must they come back absolutely drained and then by the time they've had their dinner they want to go to sleep because they've got to do it all over again the following day because it is busy. To be fair, on, on the first night when they did um, the welcome drinks and the welcome talk, they did say, if you're not feeling that you want to go out one day, just don't turn up and just enjoy the day on the ship. 
yeah. because they weren't going to wait for you. They weren't going to ring no, you. They weren't no. going to announce the bus is leaving. If you're not there um, at the time the bus is going, just don't they're assuming like, you want to yeah, do You don't have it. to be obligated to do everything, but if you yeah. want to, like we did, it, the option's there. Yeah, we, we so really did throw ourselves in and do as much as we could. But we had, honestly, we had a fantastic time. We yeah. would definitely recommend it. We would definitely do it again. We probably will do it again, um, hopefully quite soon-ish, maybe <laughs> the next year or so. It would be nice to do it again. It really, really and now, now that we've done it, it's going to even, it's it's made, on, it's made it even easier. We know what to expect now. And I think with a lot of things, sometimes change can be daunting. Um, but our experience of this was that it was great. It was. It really, really was great. So... Really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, as always, please give it a little thumbs up and we would be extremely grateful if you kindly consider subscribing to our channel because that helps us out loads. Mm -hmm. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. You can yep. email them. You can put them in the comments below. Whatever you want to do, just get in touch, honestly. Um, and in the meantime, we're just going to say stay safe, stay well, and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.